Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I have this Hex Tech Trinity City Battlefield in the Box terrain, which is pre painted terrain. You break it open and you put it down and you play with it, which I very much enjoy. Um, this was given to me by Battlefront Miniatures Gale Force 9 and the uh, the Thunderhead Studio all, all together wanted me to check this out and show you, so that is what we are going to do in this video. <laughs> We have the corporate office, we have a condo, we have a university, we have a TCPD precinct. Two of these guys. Well, that's nice. And then this one seems to be the Atlean Steps, which is outside of the Trinity City collection. It's just volume one of fully painted hills in the hex system. So we'll check out what that is like. And then highways and highway intersections and have I said everything and this is an estate so yeah let's let's check all of this out first off what shall we will we create will we break open the roads first okay let's break open the roads here we are it says it has four of those two of those two of those two of those actual size is 32 millimeters across the hex Ooh, textured. Um, if anyone is familiar with the battlefield in the box, uh, stone, cobblestone roads, that is the texture that this is in, which is a slightly flexible, we're gonna see if that's flexible, slightly flexible so you could put it over hills if you wanted. So it will flatten out to be flat again. Um, really tough. Um, some form of rubber, really. I don't know the specific components of it, but it looks good. This is what all of them look like. These little dots. 3D. I like the 3D nature of it. La da 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 da. La da da da. Do do do. Do do do. The cover is actually a fair surface area. Mm. Mm. A dead end. Parking lot, look at that. It's a parking lot. Cute. Oh, two parking lots. So we got two parking lots and little areas. It's a fair surface area in a box. I like all of these. These all look good. These are all, you know, basically identical. It's roads. They fit together. Not perfect. I suppose they weren't meant to these roads. I guess I'm more curious if the roads that connect with each other fit together perfect because these are meant to connect. They're very nice. That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Not perfect, but pr close enough. If you've ever been to where I live, they're nicer roads than the ones that are out there. Okay, so those are our roads. Now, let's put in some intersections. Just as much nice detailing as all the other ones. Let's 
So many options. All right, so yeah, let's just do, um, let's just create a nice city block. Thing of you, of you. <laughs> and off you go. Oh, that was super fun. Super fun to put these guys together. And I made a little area for our buildings, which I do not yet even know if it's going to work, but I like it. Let's go with the condo. It says in here we have two painted buildings and two painted building hex bases. Okay, so here are our bases if we wanted to use the hex system. And I see no reason why not to. As soon as I figure out how I'm fix, uh, fixing... Oh, these are kind of... Squish, squish that in there. Are they fragile? Oh, little felt bottom. Definitely fragile. Definitely fragile. Kind of like a rock. You know, one of those rocks that is very straightforward to break apart. That's what it feels like. But lighter than a rock that would be this size. Here's the design. The little things on the top, little hatches and pipes. Simple paint job. I'm sure you could go further than that, but also it looks like it's been dry brushed and stick it into its base, which it fits just fine in. It's an odd little thing, isn't it? But I guess it is for hex. Odd little thing. I guess it would work on its own, wouldn't it? I should get a uh, urban map, I suppose. No, oh, this color scheme might fit in with the dusty dead scene. And there is this one. I like this color scheme too. Which one do I prefer? Well, they're basically the same, isn't it? But here's mostly gray one. I think I like my. I think I might like the gray one more. Well, you could stack them. Kind of looks awkward, but we'll see if we can stack some other ones. Stable enough. Okay. Next is a tall one. It is two painted buildings and two painted hexes. And this one is the estate. Come here, you. I like how there's two buildings in every one and they're not identical because they're two different color schemes. Though being buildings, you wouldn't really care if they were identical anyway. <laughs> but them being complementary color schemes, I suppose. Oh, uh, okay, I haven't had enough of this. I am getting a knife. Here we are. Ah. Oh, that's kind of cute. Felt bottom again. See that guy? little stairwell on the top. <laughs> I mean, kind of, but no. But kind of, 
But no. Sturdy stuff. Starting to fill out. Very solemn looking buildings. Very solemn. I guess it's the color scheme. So solemn. This is the university. Well, you know that universities, I don't know why, but you know universities have to be the most solemn looking building. Just like elementary schools, they have to look slightly like they're prisons. Funky, look this one. Here's the university in this style. Let's see a funky looking university from here. Fans on the top. Spikes. Here's the other one. A little bit more cheery this one. Put you here. Two little university buildings next to the, what was that again? Estate. Oh, maybe I should put the condos next to the universities. I can change it later. All right. Now here we have a corporate office. On the other hand, condos would be good next to a corporate office as well, I suppose. We'll put you right here. Yeah, that fits. And right. Here is the corporate office in the paler color. And the top of the building. I hope those are supposed to be railings, otherwise this is very dubious, but the people are really, really tiny, so I suppose those are railings. Not suggestions at a corporate office. All right. Oh, that's all in. Mm, it looks fine. There. Oh. Sit now. Okay. You know, I guess as it's coming down now, it's starting to remind me of the. I guess it would make sense because it's a city scene. Um, XCOM. XCOM scenes where you have to like save a personnel of great importance. That sort of thing. The little missions. So here's the other one. Alien controlled XCOM, where everything is just a little bit creepy. My little city developing. All right, this is the TCPD precinct. So police precinct. Oh, and there's two of them, isn't there? Yeah. Got two of them really close together. Crime is high in this city. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's four, right? Ah! Littered with crime. Put that there. That's one precinct. It makes sense the precinct Ooh, fits right into it, right next to the 
the corporate office is a precinct. It's tall, is it? Well, we'll find out. Aha. Interesting. Oh, it's kind of like Paw Patrol design. <laughs> Here it is. I'm assuming the Paw Patrol might have been designed after something previously. But that's what it reminds me of, see? All the buildings come out. Little things on top. Lots of fans to keep everything cool. Huh. I think, I think this actually might be docks, docks for ships. That's cute. Anything else looks like docks that I miss? Looks like docks. They're definitely docks. I don't see anything else with docks. Cool. Flying police officers. Here's the paler one. We have ships coming out. I'm kind of surprised that there's no, unless these are helo pads. Those could be helipads, I suppose. Yeah, maybe that's what those are. That makes sense now. Kind of surprised that the these ones up here wouldn't have helipads. Precincts. Does make sense that the corporate offices. Woo! -hoo. Careful now. Uh, the corporate offices do have precincts. My city is coming together. And there we have it. You can basically see most everything. My little area for Godzilla and King Kong to have at it. Crime ridden area has four precincts in eyesight of each other. But that's okay. <laughs> they have bigger problems once my units hit the hit the ground. All right, before I show you everything, I'll take this guy and see what we have for here too. Oh, interesting piece. Here's, I believe, what will be the biggest one. Boop. Interesting concept. I mean, the hexes really take you out of the game a bit, for sure, but I think if you get accustomed to hexes, kind of like for Dungeons and Dragons, you'll completely ignore their existence and just enjoy the terrain as it is. And then this one is the second large piece. All have felt on the bottom. Every piece that has come out of these kits have had felt on the bottom, you know, other than the roads. you over there. This little piece. This would be definitely tough stuff. And the paint is not going to be coming off anytime soon. I can scratch it up. 
but it's not coming off. Now, put you right here. No, that looks silly, right? There. The final piece from that kit. Let's have a look at it all now. I used every piece of the kit skier and just to reiterate on some of the features of the terrain, in case you missed it earlier, Hextech is designed to a 33 millimeter grid. So if there are Battletech players out there or Mech Warrior players out there, you'll know you'll be able to place these right onto your hex mechs. So like I mentioned, there is the possibility of hex mechs coming out in the future maybe to match these terrain pieces better. There are markings on the structure's top so you can stay within the hex grid and there's space to fit models on top of the building should you wish to during your games and for those using these for Battletech specifically since numerical elevations are part of the gameplay, the elevated platforms you can place your models onto are all at the same height across the train sets so it's simple to tell which elevation the models are combating at. Though these are far too small, of course, for regular 40k play, you could certainly try these out for epic scale Warhammer, perhaps, which would be Adeptus Titanicus or the soon to be coming Legions Imperialis. And look how nice it looks with the right size miniatures added in and also a little bit of scenery because what city doesn't need a bit of scenery? I don't know about you, but I am super pleased with these kits and I'm incredibly curious about where they're going to be putting out next to match them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make certain to like and subscribe to the channel if you did. Make certain to comment about your thoughts on this terrain. It's always nice to have terrain that is pre-built and pre-painted so you can get it right out on the battlefield. And of course, these were all, as you saw, these were all shipped very safely. Well, I'll catch you in the next video anyway. Bye. Hello out there patrons and YouTube members, I just want to say how much I appreciate your support and I hope you've joined our patron discord as well since I'm more active on the discord than I am on Patreon itself since it's so much more interactive on discord for the moment though perhaps Patreon is expanding on what it can do. Anyway, I really appreciate your support as always. I have to say thank you. I, I, I got a note from Amos at Battlefront uh, who sent me some some buttons which uh, a couple of them were uh, Klingons and United Federation of Planets and that's where I got inspired to wear Star Trek today so thank you Amos and I'm glad that you've been enjoying the channel and thank you for this terrain Gale Force 9 and Thunderhead Studio. I am going to use it and I've enjoyed looking at it. I've enjoyed reviewing it and I am enjoying the scenarios that are already appearing in my head on where I will play it. So thanks a lot for that. All right, bye.